There is genocide in the Darfur region of Sudan. Again, already hundreds of thousands of people have been murdered. Countless women and girls have been raped. Millions of people are refugees. Millions of people face malnutrition and starvation. Why is there silence? No protest. No people that, that are outraged and concerned about the fate of Gaza, but that have concern about the death toll and harm being done to their four civilians. Jews cannot be blamed. Israel cannot be blamed. The one small Jewish majority nation in the world. So hardly anyone cares. The Arab militias committing genocide, mass murder, mass rape of women and girls do not fit into simplistic and harmful narratives regarding oppressor, oppressed, indigenous, colonizers, and who can be considered victims. Victims in this harmful ideology are held blameless even when they rape and murder. Arab militias are slaughtering black Muslim indigenous people in Darfur and there is not one protest anywhere. As long as the killing is Arab against Arab, as it is in Yemen and Syria, or Arab against black, as it is in Darfur, or black against black, as it is in the Congo region, Somalia, northern Nigeria, and elsewhere, there is silence. The war in Gaza must end. The war in Darfur must end, but not by the murderers remaining in power so that they can regroup rearm and murder another day. Civilians are dying in Darfur because they are deliberately being targeted and murdered. Civilians are dying in Gaza because Hamas uses them as their human shields from which to wage war and, from, and to hide behind and beneath. On October 7th, when Hamas, Islamic Jihad and others from Gaza murdered, raped, kidnapped, wounded, beheaded, burned alive, thousands of defenseless people inside of Israel, it became clear that we live in a world in which murder is no longer taboo to the detriment of everyone. Millions are calling for more murder when it comes to Israel and millions are calling for absolute nothing when it comes to the murdering in Darfur. There are many propagandists masquerading as reporters and journalists, but few real journalists left anymore. This class of propagandists likes spreading propaganda and falsehoods. Many of them like living in luxury, including staying in first-class hotels. The same applies for many aid organizations and charities. There are no first-class hotels in Darfur. There are first-class hotels in, Del in Tel Aviv. For this reason, and the ones already mentioned, Gaza will remain the focus and not Darfur.